Genau. Not again. Please look at your mom. I can't stand this any longer. It's your food. For how many days now? Two solid days. I will cook morning, afternoon, for uh, uh, night. You will reject it. I can't stand this. You're killing me. Because you are not one of the Look at your mother. If I don't get that money, I will not eat any food in this house till I die. I reject it. Mom, you will not die. If you're thinking of dying, just be ready to bury me first, oh. Uh, because mom, I'm in Nikki. I will not bury you. You will bury me. Then you go and die. Eat my food, oh. And make a mom who leave me make it silly. And make a leave me. Nani, Nani, please come and help me talk to him, please. Come and help me beg him. He has started again. He has refused to eat my food. I can't, I can't stand this any longer. Please now, come on. Nani, yes, come and beg him now. Nani, he's your only son. Nani, Nani, where are you going? You don't want to talk to me. Nani. Nani, this is a weak. Emeka, Emeka, where are you? Yeah, you fool. Ha! Nice. 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 You are our only child. We have both made countless sacrifices to see you through the university. I sold every piece of land inherited from my parents, except one. And of course, this very compound. Two years you finished your school service. And since then, there has not been Employment. Our position as your parents is for you to forget the interview. Papa, we are three shortlisted for the oral interview. And based on the written one we did last month, Papa, out of the three, I am the first. Your son is the first. So, this interview I'm about to go is just a formality because I've gotten the job already. Yes. So, Papa, please. I beg you, Papa, please. I'm kneeling down begging you. Please sacrifice whatever you can sacrifice to enable me go for this interview tomorrow. Please, Papa, whatever you can do, however you want to do it, please, I beg you in the name of God. Papa, can't you see it? Can't you feel it? God has already done it for us. I've gotten this job already. My son, it was only Mazen Ejike, a notorious money lender, who accepted to buy the land and pay me immediately. You know we are already owing him over 230,000 Naira, borrowed to pay your mother's uh, medical bill recently. With that same land as collateral, he simply he, he subtracted that one and the accumulated interest and he gave me this one. The earlier you stopped lying, the better for you. 
Where are the rest of your gang members? Officer, I told you I'm not a number of, I told you! I've told you this, I'm not a number of! How dare you raise your voice on me? I said, where are the rest of your gang members? Officer, I don't know the man. I've never met him before. I've never seen him before. You have to believe me, please. And you are in the same car with him, a stolen vehicle for that matter? I told you I was on my way to a job interview. Our boss broke down midway. So I stopped a car and begged the driver to give me a lift. How could I have known that he was an armed robber and that the car was a stolen car? Die. The women you guys arrested me along with are from the village. They were on their way to the city to buy goods. They were petty traders from my village. Then so the man gave all of us a lift. How how could such women be car snatchers too? How? Officer, do they look it at all? You know that appearance is never a reality. Oh. Officer, criminals in a gang do not sit back in a stolen car at a police checkpoint waiting to be arrested. Even when one of them jumps out of the car upon sighting the police, today the driver is the criminal, not us. That was why he ran away when he saw you guys and realized that you were looking for him. We did not because we are ignorant of who he truly is. We are too shocked at his behavior to even make a move. Officer, please allow me to go for this interview. If you like, take me there yourself and bring me back once it's over. Yes, yes, I wouldn't mind that at all. Please don't let me miss it because of what is happening here. My life, my future, my hope and that of my parents are in all this. Enough of your stories. Officer? Yes, sir. Take him back to his cell. If he's ready to talk to me, you let me know. Alright, sir. Now, you have to believe me. You have to believe me. Stand up, my friend. You have to believe me, please. I need to go for this interview, please. I need to go for this interview. Yes, sir. Let him go. Sir. I should let him go. A dangerous criminal like this is a member of a cast matching gang for that matter. I think uh, uh, they are not criminal. They are not criminal. Our field team that uh, went to investigate his claim just returned. Hmm? His story panned out. So God bless you. May God bless you and your family. Thank you very much. Don't no worry, get up. Get up. So on behalf of uh, the Nigerian Police Force, I apologize uh, for the mix-up and inconveniences. No problem. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, sir. God bless you. God bless your family. I love you. Thank you. Officer, my money. The money you took from me. The money. Yeah. Officer, 200. I'll give you 2,500 and you're giving me 200. You won't go back inside the cell. Yes. You want to go back inside the cell? Um, um, no. no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. No sense. Yes, sir. You just arrived, sir. Yes, sir. I'll tell him that, sir. 
What, what, what did he say, my sister? This is how she coming to be interviewed? I'm so sorry, sir. He said the same thing I told you he said before calling him. The interview ended about two hours ago. And he said he tried reaching your phone, but it was not going through. He wanted to know why you didn't show up for the interview. But, but I said the police seized my phone and switched it off when I was trying to... Sir, 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 there's no point for all these explanations. He actually said that since you didn't show up, the other two princes that came, they had to give it to them according to the personal manager. Meaning what now? Meaning what? Hmm? Meaning the vacancies you applied for have been filled up already. I'm so sorry, sir. Um, maybe you can try some other time, sir. I'm so sorry. Is there... I'm sorry, sir. your face an absolutely hopeless man I have no money to transport myself back to the village not even money to buy good food for my hungry cost self ah come come on come on Emeka, Emeka, please stop it don't be too harsh on yourself you're not cost okay it's like you're not understanding all I've been telling you here, Dora. I do. You've told me everything. Your family travels before, during and after your university days. I heard everything and I, I, I understand, absolutely, I do. Can you still say I'm a ghost? Emeka. Emeka, you're talking to Adora, Jude's girlfriend. Your friend on campus. Hmm? The one who died when you guys were in final year. See, I have not forgotten how helpful you were to the stability of that relationship while it lasted. And I, I haven't also forgotten the emotional support you gave me when you died. Hmm? I know I cut off everybody that is associated with Jude so that I can heal. But honestly, I, sh I shouldn't have cut you off. I shouldn't have done that. Adora, I am happy despite my mood. 
I'm so happy that you've returned to your usual normal and vibrant self. Good. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Me too. Maybe God allowed us to see each other again for a good purpose. Are you, are you saying that you pay for my transport back to the village? Um, Emeka, this is your room for now. Mm? Okay, just relax. Mm? Freshen up. Order food. You can even take your clothes to the laundry. They will help you wash it. I'll see you later. Okay. I don't know. I, 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 I don't want to eat food or to relax in this hotel. What I want is transport money to go back to the village. Hmm? Please. This hotel is too big for me to come and relax and I mean, it, it, it's too costly, it's too expensive. You even asking me to, to eat food take my clothes to laundry for them, to wash it for me and... Oh. Emeka, Emeka, I am not paying for anything here. I am not. I'm not paying for anything? <laughs> this is my father's hotel. So I am not paying for anything here. Relax, like I said. Freshen up, order for food and do whatever you would like. I will see you later, okay? It's her father's hotel. Does it mean she's been lying to me while we were in school? But what Jude said her father was a trader, an electronics importer. I requested for your CV just to make sure my daughter was not exaggerating things due to her confessed closeness to you in your school days. Excellent result, as she told me when she approached your talking with me last night. Uh, such a sad commentary on those running the affairs of this country that a young man like you who possesses such a result and is ready to work, still roams the street, jobless, two years after concluding national service. Very sad commentary indeed. That said, you were highly recommended by a daughter who has never lied to me or disappointed me all through her life. I never met your late friend Jude, but if he could win the love and friendship of a morally strict and introverted girl like Adora, so much so that she was utterly broken at her head, he was worth the respect and admiration of a man like me. My respect and admiration for the poor guy was such that the moment Adora mentioned that you were his bosom friend, that you were very helpful in helping her overcome her heart after his death. The rest was story. Uh, so, Daddy, you mean... Uh... I am employing you with immediate effect. Thank you. 
Get up, young man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Even with the rapid expansion of my business empire, I have never believed in putting one person in control of everything. Except Adara, who, in addition to being the executive director, also functions as the general accounting head. Since for your record, uh, you studied business administration. I am employing you as the general manager of my entire business so that both of you can synergize and take care of the day to day running of the company. And that comes with a salary of 300,000 naira monthly. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, oh my god. Daddy? Also, my voice quarters is available for you to use as your residence until you save enough to rent your own apartment. Your mood for the past three days is worrying me more than anything else. Have you forgotten about our heart condition, Kemba? Or do you want to die before your time? Three days, my dear wife. Three days after I have made myself a total slave in the house of poverty and shame. To enable our son a job interview in the city. I had neither seen him nor heard about the job he went for. But he called us two days ago. To say what? No, he called us to say that he was okay. Now, after the story told by those two women from this village, about his ordeal with the, with the police. Do we need a prophet to tell us that he did not secure the job? And if that is the case, what reason do I have to be happy? Uh, but the woman said that they were released later on. That was at about 2 p.m. The interview our son went for was scheduled for 12 noon. Eh? I, 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 uh, is that not enough to, 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 to tell you that? I, 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 I don't know. Oh, Listen, Ken. Trust God. Believe God. You don't know how God works his own things. Maybe something. Maybe the manager even. Huh? Ken. Do 
Come on, you come. The guy is back outside. Come and see with your eyes. Hey, 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 But they insisted on coming to show their gratitude for what you did for me. Mama, Papa, this is Chief Ibe, my ogre, and his daughter, Adora. Uh, uh, Chief, please, please, please. Oh, no, 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 Amen. God's protection will be your portion. Amen. Amen. The greatest gentleman ever created by God will be your husband. Amen. Amen. You will be bountifully fertile. Amen. The fruit of your womb will be the greatest amongst their generation. Amen. Amen. My daughter, you, you will know no shame, no pain, no crisis in your family. Amen. I am praying that God's protection will be your Long life, sound health will be your portion. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Chief, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! Thank you very much. Thank you. And me too? Yeah, Chief, our own feelings are indescribable. Uh, uh, it is true. That is why you know, we came with this little token to appreciate you. Thank you very much, Chief. Thank you. America, uh, uh, why allow all this? I mean, it is not necessary. I mean, why the extra stress of getting us things, you know, we can afford many times over? Uh, Chief. Uh, uh, Chief, uh, please, please, Chief. please. Uh, just Chief. Chief, please accept. Uh, no, 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 Oh, okay, okay. Oh, very okay. good. Yeah. <laughs> Did you arrive at? Okay, okay. Um, I'm able to save uh, some amount of money. So once I collect my salary for this month, I'll make it up and send 400,000 to you. 
cares, but, 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 but don't worry about me. Don't worry. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I promise you. I'm going to buy all the land you've sold. This is just the beginning. It's okay, Papa. Eh, Papa, don't worry about me. Hadora's father has been so good to me. I don't spend money for feeding, housing, I mean, they've been so good. It's okay. Do you hear from me, son? Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, Daddy Zinja. How was your night? Fine. Yours? Extremely beautiful. <laughs> Extremely so because of the content of this file I was studying last night. Huh? What file? Oh, the report on the financial health of our company that we asked them and I to prepare. Oh yes, because the content of this file has erased all my worries of the last two years. You were worried about the company for the past two years. Why? Because to me, in the past two years, you have more than tripled your worth as, as a businessman through aggressive investment. So why 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 are you worried? Never mind. Your father is so happy this morning. Thanks to you and the Mecca. But where are you traced to go this early? Well, Amaka and I have something important to take care of at the office. I actually went to your room to inform you that you were not there. But don't worry, I will fill you in once I come back. Hmm? Bye, bye. Mm, that boy, Amaka. That's all. Uh, what about him? I was just thinking aloud. Thinking aloud? I can't say like that. What for? Just thinking on what to do for him. In appreciation for his uh, innovative ideas. Which ensured we've made more financial games since he came than we made in the past 18 months. I was just zeroing in on um, giving him some financial increment in his salary. Next month. Oh, how do you see it? Oh, fine. It's fine. It's fine, Daddy. It's fine. Fine? Yes. So, what do you think will start paying him? Maybe I'm. Abu? Abu? Ah! Open the gate for me. Yes, sir. Emeka! 
Emeka! Emeka! Um, calm down please ma'am. It's okay for now. At least we have successfully managed to stabilize him. But um, he's not likely to survive for the next two weeks if he doesn't get at least one of his two kidneys replaced. His kidney replaced? Yes ma'am. Our initial test uh, shows that his two kidneys are damaged beyond use. In fact, uh, what happened before he passed out this morning was that uh, a complication arising from the damaged kidney blocked the function of the vital organ. And in fact, uh, before you got here, he was only minutes away from complete multiple organ failure. Jesus. God. But, but, but Dr. Hillary, Sir? you said you've had him stabilized. So why is he still unconscious? Um, sir, um, the pains in his kidney and uh, Postures are so massive that he could go into shock and possibly die if he regains consciousness before managing that. And managing it is what we're doing. For that, we had to sedate him. And uh, he will remain so for the next 24 hours or so. Um, doctor, please, in your professional opinion, do you think he has a chance at survival? Yes. Um, it, the, Please. Yes, of course. Um, sir, let's discuss further details in my office. said that in the absence of a free donor that it will cost 12 million naira to buy a kidney and perform the, the surgery that will help a mechanism. You have not said anything. Please, Daddy, the doctor said that because of the nature of his job that he has limited time for the surgery if he must leave. Please. 12 million naira is involved. That is why I have been saying thank God. Thank God that he, he, he met us before this thing happened to him. Thank God that a family that is worth over one billion naira is now involved. I will not be part of it. As long as that huge amount of money is involved, neither would you. But what did you just say? You heard me right beyond paying his outstanding one month salary. This family will not get involved in his health crisis. You heard me right. And that's final. You're, you're joking, aren't you? I'm dead serious. We will not get financially involved. No, 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 no. this morning that he will increase his salary to 400,000 naira from next month. The man, you confessed to me that helped organize your business empire that you made 200 million naira gain in three months. We're talking about... Adela, shut up! Go to your office or if you have nothing better to do with your time, you go to your room. As far as that boy's health crisis is concerned, it is end of discussion.
slept in this house or pick my calls. I'm sorry, Daddy. I, I, I was in such a bad emotional state that I couldn't pick your calls. I, I, I slept in Emeka's ward in the hospital and Daddy, I watched him battle for his life. Three hundred thousand. Yes, three hundred thousand. That's the maker's salary for the moon that just ended. I made it in your name so you could help him cash it. Take it to him, and once that is done, forget him and his travels. For good. For good. What manner of good are you talking about, Daddy? When doing that will just Seal his death sentence. Daddy, Daddy, come on. You know, you know this guy's family history. Where on earth do you want his poor parents to get money? You heard me right, his dear daughter. Don't try pushing it over with me because it will yield no other result than the one that I've already made clear to you yesterday. Honestly, Daddy, you're scaring me. You're scaring me, honestly, because I, I, I grew up knowing you to be a humanist. An icon of charity and kindness. Daddy, this is not you. Daddy, what happened since yesterday that turned you into someone that I don't even know? A stranger that I cannot understand? Or, or something you're not telling me. End of discussion, Adol. I am your only child for God's sake. And I'm your only father. The only family you have. Oh, am I wrong? Yes, you are. Because that young man dying in the hospital is now part of our family. Don't tell me 
You've been sleeping with him. Jesus Christ. Are you pregnant for him already? How dare you insult me, daddy? How Shh. dare you? Shut up! I will not shut up! How dare you say something like that to me? What is wrong with you? Or has a mere 12 million naira suddenly erased the, the, the respect that you have for me? <laughs> Again, you walk out. And by implication, on a young dying man who served you honestly and brilliantly. Daddy, I may not know the reason for your strange behavior on this issue. But I am telling you one thing today. I will never, never walk out on him. I will do everything in my power to save him. Mark my words today. Don't make this a direct challenge to my person. Be a silly mistake. So don't. My name is uh, Dr. Henry, okay? I am the medical director of this hospital. I'm the one attending to your son. As you can see when you walked in here, I'm still attending to him. So please, can you give way, let me do my job? Uh, 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 doctor, he is our only child. His mother and I had 10 children. Mm -hmm. 10 children, doctor. But he's the only one who survived for us. Please, doctor, please. Do not allow him to die, please. Do not let him die, please. Papa, it's okay. I will do my best, okay? But my calling and training, my job is to help save people like him. But uh, in his own case, there are things I need to work with. Uh, um, uh, doctor, I have already discussed with them on our way here. And um, they agreed to donate one kidney each to him. Beautiful. Um, but well, that will involve three major surgeries to be carried out simultaneously. Oh, um, oh, okay, so now that we have three donors, um, what if we go and we look at here? Why can't one of them do the donation at least to save costs? I mean, with uh, one kidney, he can live a normal life for the rest of his life. No, I've already discussed with them. And they said they will only be very, very comfortable if he has two kidneys. Well, um, from what they just said about him being their only child, I understand their stand here. Um, with the recent development, uh, the bill will be 8 million naira. Oh, well. ah, it's okay. It's okay. Um, well, doctor, go ahead and prepare them for surgery. Um, it's something I can arrange on my own. Very well, then. Um, they have to undergo some relevant tests before that. And uh, why will wait for that. I have to get in touch with the expert uh, surgeon. Um, it's okay. Do what you have to do. Let me go. Like that. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, let, me, let me watch before the family comes. Okay. Right. Doctor, please. Uh, Mama, don't worry. Nothing will happen to you. It's okay. It's fine. Yes, yes, come on. Let me. You mean the treasury single account is Messing things up, right? Uh, no, 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 I don't quite get you. Well, I know the manufacturing sector is suffering and um, foreign investors are all running out of the country. Yes, I'm aware. Dad! Dad! No, 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 no
but that's not the reason to delay. Yes. All, all right, okay. Okay, see you then. Thank you. Coming from the bank, right? Oh, so it's true. The bank manager told me that you asked him to, 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 to freeze my account, both business and private. Why would you do that? Why? To save the family from disaster and shame, Adora. Meaning what? Well, I cannot tell you more than this about the issue. Uh, by the way, I've just disposed of all your values, my jewelries, car, and everything. So, can I have the car keys? You're joking. I'm dead serious, Adora. You're dead serious? Daddy, you're dead serious. You disposed of my jewelries. My car. A car you bought for me on my last birthday. Why are you going to this extent just to frustrate Emeka? Why? I'm not frustrating Emeka Adora. In fact, I regret this happening to him right now. You see, I'm being frustrated by circumstance. Please, Daddy. Why don't you just tell me what this circumstance is? This circumstance that I don't know. This circumstance that you think I don't deserve to know. Please tell me because I need to understand what is going on. What is going on, Daddy? What is actually going on? Because I'm going crazy. Give me the car keys, please. I will never. I will never give you the car keys, Daddy, unless you tell me what is going on. Because I deserve to know what is going on. So spit it out. What is going on? Give me the car key. I don't know. Give me the key! I mean the car key! Give it to me! I saw Emeka's parents outside crying and they refused to tell me why. What happened? Please tell me the truth. What happened to Emeka? Nothing. Um, nothing actually. He, he just, um, as a matter of fact, he regained consciousness about 30 minutes ago. Doctor, I said, tell me the truth. He regained consciousness and the, his parents are still in tears. How come? It doesn't make sense. The, the surgeries have been called off. Called off? Yes. Why? Uh, ma, um, their blood pressures are so dangerously high that uh, it will amount to pure mother for anyone to carry out any form of surgery on them before they are stabilized. And from my professional um, estimation, it will take at least um, two weeks to achieve that, and their son hasn't got that. Oh my God. God, what, 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 what is going on? Eh, what is this? Why is every effort made towards saving a maker's life falling apart? Eh? What sin has he committed? Calm down, ma'am, please. Um, after hearing their story, I couldn't help but be lenient. Which, of course, is going to be the first time I'm doing that for any patient in this hospital. See the account uh, department and give them the 8 million naira you promised. I will allow the surgery to go on with a purchased kidney. And I will give you six months to pay the balance. I'm out of it. I... I don't... I don't have 8 million. Not here. Or anywhere else in this world for that matter. My... My... My father... My, my father... Chief, we know we have no right to comporting you over our son's head. After all, he's only a staff. You are not owing him salaries. Neither is his head condition anything to do with the job that he is doing for you. Eh? But, Chief, we are talking about 
life. Life is involved here. And the life is that of our only son. Please, please, Chief. Chief, help us, please. Please help us. Help us if ever can look at me. Ten children who really only ever can survive to wipe away the tears of childlessness from my face. Imagine the events the father and I are passing through. Watching such a child of Ubura that is Uba. Passing through this. If you can make the other boy, we don't have shishi. Please, now, Chief. Chief, help us now. Help us if I make a new good move. Of Ubura that is Uba. Chief, please. Help us. My wife and I have agreed to. To become your slave. I can't take it. We want to be your slave. For the rest of our lives, Jesus. I can't take it. Anything you ask us to do, Jim, we are ready to do it. Even without paying a time until a maker brings all the money that you spend on him to make sure that he is safe. Please, we, we are slaves. We are no workers. Please. Please, we go. Look at us, please. Please, we go. Please, please say something. Please. Honestly, everything they are saying here is actually ripping my heart apart. Daddy, I am your only child, just like Emeka is theirs. So just imagine me in Emeka's shoes, and then put yourself in their own shoes, please. <coughs> Before you, Adora, not up to two hours ago, I cried. For the first time in your life, you saw your father crying. Or do you think I was merely acting a movie? No, not at all. Mm. Your father was crying for Emeka, the young man Emeka, who in the last three months has proven himself to be more of the son I never had than a staff. I was crying for the unfortunate circumstance that so tied my hands mm. that I had to watch him die and doing that. Again, Daddy, I ask you, why? Please. What is this circumstance that you keep talking about? Please tell me, because I need to understand it. Mm? Mm. If it is something that I wanted you to know about, I would have told you since yesterday. Anyway, let's pray. Emeka makes it beyond next week. Yes, if he does, that he Daddy, is. he does not have that time. That is the issue here. He doesn't have that time. Because he had Oh, God, do not That was why I cried. That is the reason I'm feeling this miserable. <laughs> oh. Daddy. Hey, hey, what
Fine. I'm fine. It's okay. It's okay. What are you doing? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Please. Hey! Please, I beg you. Please. Adora, please. Ada, please. Pico. Pico. Ah, please. Ada. Please. 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 Look at us. Look at us, Adora. Adora, please. Please. Adora, Pico. Ay, ay. Sorry, ay. No, sorry. I beg you. Get out. Um, doctor, on our way here, you said if we can find a free donor, that you will allow the surgery to go on with a six months stated check from my father. Yes, I said that, and um, that's because of my long-lasting relationship with your father. Thank you. I... I want to be tested to see if I can donate. I will always be Is it that the doctor found out that he's okay or that his diagnosis was wrong? No, 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 daddy, no, 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 no. The doctor said that he's going to perform the surgery with a six months positive check from you if a free donor is found. And daddy, a free donor has been found! <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Bless be your name the most high. Amen. And if I may ask, who is this free donor? Me, Daddy. You? Uh, y yes. The doctor tested me and said I'm, uh, I'm okay to donate. Never. It will never happen in this house. Listen, as long as I live, and as your dad, it will never happen. Uh, no, that you, I, I, I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. I have spoken. In fact, I did not just speak, but I swear, with the last drop of my blood, it will never happen. Never. Daddy, you are wasting your time. You're wasting your time here. Sign this check, let me go back to the hospital. But if you don't, Daddy, I promise you, you will bury your only child long before his parents bury theirs. Adora, signing the check is no longer a problem to me. With the new arrangement by Dr. Henry, but the only thing that will be worse than being stabbed to death again and again to me is letting you do what you want to do with your kidney. Daddy, my mind is absolutely made up here. Just sign the check. I'm not a I have my cogent reason of saying no. A very sad no. And Daddy, you do not sign this check now, Daddy. I will just... In fact, I will bury this knife Deep inside my stomach if you do not sign this check by the count of ten. 
One, two, three, four. I'm gonna stop it. Don't be sign the check. I will not. I cannot let you live on one kidney as I've done in the past 25 years of my life. Yes, Adora. I donated one of my kidneys. And as a result, I suffered two of my most painful losses as a human being. Yes, I'm not bluffing. Look at this guy. Just look at it. Jesus Christ. Daddy, you, 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 you've never told me about this before. The pain of discussing it is too painful for me to be here even now. Sacrifice your kidney to save. And what two losses are you referring to? I don't sit down. I met your mother when I was in secondary school, just like me. She too was an orphan. I'm being severely maltreated by her people. Due to our shared fate, we fell in love with each other. One night, her wicked uncle beat and drove her out of the house over a minor issue. And tragically, that night, she was raped by a notorious criminal in our village. Instead of consoling her, her uncle, his wife and children branded her a sheep prostitute and drove her out of the house completely. She was contemplating suicide. In order to save her, I decided to elope with her to the city. We suffered terribly in our first few months alone in the city until through God's favor, I finally started a petty business. Three years into it, I became financially stable enough for us to get legally married during the early stages of the pregnancy for the baby that would have been a younger one she developed some complications that eventually led to miscarriage unfortunately the complication badly damaged her two kidneys i had to donate one of my kidneys to her to keep her alive but in the course of the surgery a costly mistake was made that left my reproductive system permanently damaged. I became impotent, permanently unable to achieve erection. On realizing that, your mother completely changed from insulting and taunting me with my condition. She finally did her worst by abandoning me and running away a man, a close friend of mine for that matter. I loved her so much, Adora. I loved your mother. Even now, I still loved her so much that if she did not die during her next childbirth in my friend's house, I will still be ready to forgive and bring her back and marry her again. That is your father's heartbreaking story. That's how I lost the love of my life and the ability to be among children just because I was trying to save someone I love so much. How can I possibly let you do the same thing that I did? When the fear of that ugly complication repeating itself in your life is still all over me, how can I? Adora, how can I? In the my 
mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Father, we glorify your holy name. We thank you because you are the one who created heaven and earth. Yes. Father, without you, we are nobody. Father Almighty and ever living God, I bless whatever she's going to do, oh Lord. We commit every activity of hers unto your evil care, Lord. Father, take proper control of us and our life. Take proper control of what I make Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everything that will be successful, oh Lord. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I hear you, Lord. Oh, daughter of God. Hear the word of the Most High spoken to his prophets. The soldier will be successful. Thank you, Lord. You and the person you're trying to save shall survive and live healthy lives thereafter. No complication during and after the surgery shall occur. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The surgery must be carried out with the consent of your father. For if it is carried out without his express permission, both of you will still live a healthy life thereafter. But there will be tears instead of celebration after the surgery. Thus is the Lord. Tears instead of celebration. Why? I mean, what will happen? The spirit is not telling me, my daughter. Thank you, Jesus. Um, okay. Pastor, what what if my father refuses to give his consent even after hearing this prophecy? What should I do? Please, I need your advice. Charity, especially when it involves saving the life of a poor and a helpless person, it's approved of God. The same God told us in one of his Ten Commandments that we should obey our parents. Go on your knees, pray to God to help you make the right choice. Daddy, thank God. Thank God you're here. Adora, what are you doing here? Uh, Daddy, I'm coming from Brother John's place. I went to talk to him about Emeka's case. And I'm here waiting for a taxi. And the sun is too much. You told me you are going to the office to tidy up things. And now you are telling me you are coming from our family spiritual director's house. Daddy... Adora, listen. If you disobey me and make that kidney donation to that boy, I'll kill that boy and, and turn the gun on myself. Now, enter the car. Adora, enter the car right now.
outside, huh? Time. Daddy, how dare! Tell him, if you don't want me to stop myself to death, call him and tell him you don't want to get involved with his case again. Daddy, Daddy, please. Call him or I kill myself at the count of seven. In case you are thinking otherwise, my death will make you an instant destitute. Yes. And I will go, I altered my way. Even everything to the Catholic Church. Yes. So, do it now or choose between a maker and having your father's blood on your hand. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it's okay. Don't do it, Daddy. Daddy, don't do it. Don't, 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 don't. look, look, look. I'm telling you. I'm dying, I'm dying, Daddy, please. No, 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 don't do it. I'm dying, Daddy. Just, 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 just see. I, I, I'm dying, I'm, I, I'm dying this number. God, God save you. Please, don't, 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 don't. Yes, it, it, it's ringing, it, it's ringing, it, it's ringing, Daddy, it's ringing. Hello? 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 Um, Emeka, Emeka. Emeka, please, please, just, just, just listen, listen, I... Please, I'm just, I'm fine, please, just listen. Emeka, I, I'm calling to tell you to forget the idea of me donating my kidney to you. Please, just listen, please, just... Just take it that we never met, okay? Please. Yeah, yes. Please, that is all I can say for now. I am begging you, just, just understand. Yes. Ada, wait, 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 wait. Ada, 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 Ada. What did she say? She called the phone on me. Caught. Why can we go to what's the phone or to look at one when I did my door as I don't pick up? Thanks. Thanks for your job. Go to the gate. Stay there and make sure she does not cross that gate until I instruct otherwise. Alright, sir. Alright, sir. Yeah, yeah. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much. I hate you, Daddy. I hate you. <laughs> Try again. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm coming. Hi. Bridget? Yes. This. What do I do now? What do I do? Why don't you call the father? Eh? Call her father. 
Call her father. Uh, but, but, uh, hey. Serious warning. Four thousand naira, doctor. Please, please, doctor. Please help me. Please save me. Please, please, please. Oh, um, it is, it's okay. Please, please stand up. Please. Hey, oh, please stand up. Please, please, please stand up. Stand up. Okay. Well, um, while I, uh, I'm even ready to assist you or to help you even now, uh, I can't, but however, provide the needed kidney. I actually asked um, the question because I found a merchant donor who is uh, willing and ready to give you one of his kidneys in exchange for money to help um, solve uh, one of his present family problems. Are you joking? What is, is the person re requesting for? Uh, 1.5 million naira. If you can afford it, uh, make it available between now and the next four days. Else your condition will become irredeemable. Just four days. Good morning, my dear. Daddy, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Not when Daddy is here to brief you on a positive development about the mega. Dr. Henry called last night to say that a donor has been found for him. How? God, I thank you. Anytime within the next 48 hours, don't ask me why it is not happening immediately. Because I don't know. This is the postdated check that Dr. Henry asked. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. God will bless you for me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ha! Ah, Daddy, you don't know how proud of you I am right now. Thank you so much. Sorry. Forgive me, my dear. You soon understand the pleasure that is in. 
that made me think some of your decisions I've taken in the last It's okay. Uh, whatever it is. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, let me now freshen up and go to the hospital. No, 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 no. You won't go there until the surgery is successful. You won't even call the neck. It is upon those conditions that I decided to give this check to Dr. Henry. As a matter of fact, he will be here to pick it any moment from now. If you disobey me, I will back off completely. Deal? Adora, deal? That's all right. Come with me and take yourself off. Thank you, Barrister. You said you have an ugly development to report to me? Yes, Chief. They obtained the permit from a friendly judge to Alahaji to go ahead and execute the agreement in three days' time. When did that happen? Um, about an hour and a half ago, according to my source. But I can get a friendly judge to grant us a restraining injunction against them, if you permit me. No, 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 no. I can't permit such. I'm not an increment. Beside uh, more than a year extension in the execution of our agreed debt, one cannot say they've not been gracious enough to me. But if we do nothing, the consequences could... Oh no, forget about the consequences. I, I'm ready. I'm ready anytime. You mean you are? I am ready as early as tomorrow. Thank you, Barista, for your concern. Uh, can we share a drink? Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, Chief. Um, but I beg to decline. I have a lot on me right now. Okay. Sorry to have kept you waiting, eh? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, one. My son. Hello? American one? Aha! Uh -huh. uh, yes, he did as promised. Uh, uh, you see, when he saw that I moved all our belongings to your maternal home, uh, so he gave it to me. Yes. Yes. Oh, 1.2 now. 1.2. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, I'm sorry, my son. Uh, I would have called you since last night. But I, I ran out of call credit. Uh, that is why I'm sorry, eh? Uh, so how are you today? Uh -huh. Very good then. Very good. Huh? No, don't worry, you'll be okay. It is going to be over today. Yes. Okay. I, I was about leaving when your call came. I will see you.
no witch money. No, I must pay myself. No, I'm not money. Hey, 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 Take care of it at home. Please. You have to rush and conclude the transaction. Daddy, what kind of transaction is this that you're placing it above your health? A huge and a very important one. So huge that I had to convert the whole money into dollars for easy movement. Just been doing this for the past six months. Waiting for today's. Uh, Transaction. The money is here. 12.6 mil. 12.6 million dollars. What? Okay. Uh, Daddy, wait, you kept such an amount of money in the house. What uh, for? I will explain when you come back. Just take me to the house and proceed to the bank immediately. Pay it into this account details. Take me to the house, please. I can continue. But Daddy, the, 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 the money laundering act. The manager of the branch will assist you without anybody asking questions. <sighs> I am here with you. 